What is going on guys, it is Ezra here, and I welcome you to a brand new video. Now as you can see, I am a child avatar. A baby avatar in fact, and you might be wondering why. But it is, there is a reason for it, and you will find out in this video. Now as you can see by the title, this is the Death Row Designs Shadow Box. And this month's theme, kind of, is it's to do with children, or babies or whatever. And there's a load of furniture and stuff. Um, one of the items you can actually sit on as a child and use, hence the child avatar. So that might explain a lot for you. Now, before I start this video, I just want to advise you to check out the link in the description to deathrowdesigns.net where you can find out more information on how to subscribe. It's very simple and totally worth it, as you will see from this video. So we're going to start at the first item which we have over here. This is the baby bed, and this is the light folder that I have received. There is a dark folder which I will show you in a second. But um, the first item we have is, I'd say, for female baby avatars, but that's fine. And um, as you can see, it is a baby bed. And <laughs> the work that's gone into this is phenomenal, honestly. The curtains and everything, like the curtains are a little mesh and god damn, like really nice. And um, this doesn't have any, any animations, by the way, that was a mouthful. But um, that doesn't matter does it? This is just really nice looking. I like the ribbons as well. Really nice. Okay, so the next item we have is the baby changing area. Again, no animations with this, but do you need them? Not really. And there's a little chandelier up here, which looks really cool. And again, this sort of meshy, wide stuff at the back, which again looks beautiful. Down here we have, you know, baby supplies. Diaper, I guess that is. Uh, more baby supplies. A changing mat. Really, really cool. Um, and I love the uh, details that have gone in here. This is actually 3D. This isn't a texture, but it obviously it's textured, but it's 3D. Actually sticking out from the object. Really nice. Um, you can't close or open the doors, but that doesn't matter. It's, um, it's like that so you can see the inside. The inside is the main part and looks absolutely incredible. The next item we have is the baby clothes rack. Now... I really like this, and so does my girlfriend actually, um, mainly because of this. It says, twinkle twinkle little star, do you know how loved you are? That is beautiful. <laughs> um, but there's some clothes here. Again, this item is non-scripted, but it doesn't matter. It's there for the effect. Um, it's just the amount of work that's gone into little things, like the mirror, I guess this is here. Um, this is 3D. It's just beautiful. Like, And the texture is nice as well all been UV'd correctly and nicely. Very nice. The next item we have is the baby rug. As you can see, it is a rug, quite simply. It's my slogan. <laughs> but um, we've got a baby toy here and we've got a little unicorn. Um, because, you know, unicorn, why the hell not? Quite basic, but um, I think it's really cool. Really nice. The next item we have is the child's bench. Now this is where my avatar will come in handy here. Just turn off your AO and sit. And boom. It's made perfectly for children avatars. Mine's actually the Toodledoo avatar. Um, so that's just if you wanted to know. Um, so obviously you've got a ton of poses here. Um, let's pick one. Nap time. I wouldn't say that's napping, but... Um, Sure. Not going. They're really nice animations. The bench has been made perfectly um, size-wise in comparison to this avatar. So that's great. Really nice. I do like that a lot. The next item we have is actually a parent and child chair, but it's quite hard to get both avatars online at once because I don't want to risk crashing. But um, it's for, you know, a baby and an uh, adult. Um, so if I sit on here you'll see that there's the options like normal. Um, obviously you can pick parent, or if I swap, I'll be in the parent's arms. It's very simple to get, but um, it's a shame that like, see look, as you can see here, this is what the par parent would be holding, the parent would be holding up the kid. It's it's quite self-explanatory. Um, a shame I can't really showcase that as much as I would like to, but um, it's really cool. I have tried it with my avatar. Um, and it looks great, but it was just pretty laggy, so I didn't want you to go through that experience with me. So, now we'll go to the dark side. Now, goddamn, 
<laughs> the first item we have is in fact called when the textures res attic rugs okay so as you can see it's just just destroyed destroyed wood rugs cobwebby madness you know mental um it's different and will be incredible for a loft um slash attic kind of scene which is good good to have might be good for a man cave as well awesome the next item we have over here is the baby carriage basically a pram slash push chair now this has been really nicely made um it's a very vintage chair or push chair i call it a chair it's you, you get what i mean um but it's just the cobwebs give it an eerie effect um seeing as it was halloween or whatever but um obviously the dark things normally have cobwebs on anyway because it's part of the whole theme or whatever but um the whole idea of the box but it's really cool again this is unscripted so you can try clicking it but nothing will happen um very nice the next item we have is the baby crib or cot as we say in the uk it's very simple but um pretty freaky this will be good for some haunted house theme um yeah you get the idea again cobwebby and old and vintage and meh but in a good way and meh in a good way um but but it's really nice i just like the texture and stuff it's incredible the next item we have is the baby ottoman so this is a seat but it's unscripted which doesn't matter as you can see now there is a creepy doll on the top here I want to get you a good view at that if we can here look at that that is just oh god that's weird <laughs> and the next item we have is the child's bench this one isn't scripted so you can't sit on this one it's there for effect but looks awesome got an old bike wheel down there bucket boxes torn up rug it's destroyed basically you can see it's destroyed and just unusable um i really do like that though really cool and the final item is this the giant attic pile which is just junk basically um not junk as meaning it looks junk junk as meaning it is literally junk uh, <laughs> um we got some old books here got some plant pots an old drawer here uh, an old, I think this is an old pram or push chair, whatever you want to call it. It's been clearly destroyed. Um, good old vase here. More books. Some pretty freaky looking pictures. All these old style pictures of freak. Look, his face melted. Oh, God. It's pretty much melted face. Got an old door here, you know. Good old door. Um, got some bottles. Austin, Young & Co. That's really nicely textured, isn't it? You can just... God damn. <laughs> More books and cobwebby stuff. Got some suitcases, an old chest here. Uh, God, there's loads. And another... Oh, God. Another freaky picture there. Another vase, chairs, stacks of stuff. What's up here? No idea. Some kind of pots. But very eerie. Now, as I said at the beginning, this has been the Death Row Design Shadow Box... It's really awesome, so I definitely would get your hands on it while you can. But anyway, that's pretty much going to sum up this video. As per usual, I hope you have enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one.